Well, there was a lot of this ill treatment of newcomers, which is still happening in some schools. That taught me to learn boxing so that I could defend myself. Exercising is very, very important, especially when you're like over 40. In the day, we boxing. We are panda and my muscles are sedans. Kitsetsuka, the 26th of August, 1927. We have a location in Cobox, back in the Statenville. We have a location in the Kurojanu, we have a lot of people I passed my 26th, 1941. I we have a good kitchen. We have a boarding school, which was St. Peter's Secondary School. We have a good job St. Martin's. We have a good job at the same time. There were things like football. Some people did wrestling and so on. But when I got to St. Peter's, I found that uh, well, there was a lot of this ill treatment of newcomers by old comers, what they used to call initiation in the schools, which is still happening in some schools, even now. So that taught me to learn boxing so that I could defend myself. The man who used to train us in boxing there was a man called Rusa Badenberle. He came from Artisville, Pretoria. He was very good at training. And so you know, I, I learned a lot of boxing tactics from him. When I left school, I finished school in 48, my mother could not afford to take me to university. So I started looking for a job and I got a job as a bookkeeper. When I was working for the city council of Jamiston, there was a hall there which was not used at all. I decided to turn that hall into a gymnasium and decided to start a club at that place where I worked, bringing back all the knowledge which I picked up in St. Peter's. I was able to get some equipment, what you call a, a heavy bag, and some skipping ropes. I managed to buy boxing gloves as well. So I started training boys there. I was also a qualified sports writer and I could analyze the fight the way I saw it there analyze the other the opponents and so on and what happened there. As a result of this I became a very recognized boxing writer. I, I was uh, headhunted by the Bantu World newspaper. I went to work for them and uh, whilst working there the managing editor of the newspaper told me I must give up training fighters because he doesn't want me to get involved in promoting my own fighters only. And uh, although I knew I wasn't going to do that, but he said I better leave boxing or otherwise they left to look for another sports editor. So that forced me to forget all the work that I had done in my boxing club. I had to give it up. But it didn't stop my interest in boxing because then I was covering boxing tournaments now. That is one of the reasons that uh, I was in Kinshasa in 1974 for the Muhammad Ali fight. The gym died a natural death. 
it, 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 there was never anybody to run it. And I don't know what happened to the equipment. Because of my busy schedule as a journalist, because I used to come back home 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, I'd wake up at 6 o'clock and then I'd either go and train by skipping rope or shadow boxing. I did that for quite some time, maybe for half an hour or an hour. Because once your body is conditioned, you don't need to train for hours. You can use one exercise for two minutes, another one for another three minutes and so on. Because you got to sort of uh, scale yourself and sort of uh, get your body, get used to that. You see, once your body is fit, your brain is also fit, is alive. And you are able to, to assimilate a lot of knowledge because your brain is alive. That is why if you are, you are writing examinations, whether it's go degree in or lessons and so on, keep fit and you will be able to assess and get a lot of that knowledge into your system. You know, one of the things that I love doing is music. Now, if I get a chance to dance, I dance. Even when I'm listening to music there, I'm beating a beat here with my feet. And that's, that increases, increases circulation on my legs. Breathing exercises, expanding your lungs. You know, there are some people who don't know how to breathe properly. And you can do exercises of breathing, holding your breath for some time and so on. Like when you are swimming. I can swim some distances underwater, holding my breath. I learned that when I was a youngster. My daily routine is uh, about 11 o'clock and uh, eat some very light breakfast and so on. Then I'll eat proper food, cooked food, maybe at lunchtime. And then afternoon I'll have a, a drink or something, maybe coffee with a slice of bread and drink a lot and a lot of water. And uh, I'm fine. I don't need any more food. My name is Derek Virgin. I'm from Rivoli. My age is 59. I'm a property consultant and uh, I'm running my own company. <music> 2016. I started coughing, but it carried on for a long time, for about two weeks. When it went to the third week, uh, on a Sunday evening, my wife said no. Let us go to Flora Clinic and go and see what is your problem, you know. We came to Flora, there was a doctor there, a black guy, and then he picked up, he said, no, I've got like a sort of a virus or something like that, you know. He's going to hold me over for a night. He admitted me the following day, another doctor came, and the doctor said to me, listen, he's going to refer me to the heart specialist, I went to the art specialist walking. I walked to the art specialist. They examined me and things like that. And then after about half an hour, they came back to me and they said to me, we're gonna have to do a bypass on you. Then I asked them, is there a possibility of me seeing my own doctor? Because in 1999, I actually had a heart attack and they did it, they performed double bypass, the same doctor. 
So they said, it's fine. And I went to the, the following day. Me and my wife sat there and he called us. He said, come around here by my computer in front of the screen. And he showed me, say, can you see? This is the double bypass that I performed. Everything is still intact. But on this side, I've got to do three bypasses. He showed me three arteries. They admitted me and they prepared me for the following day. The following day, I went to the operating theater and I went in. After the operation, I never recovered, I never woke up. Then I was in a coma for all that time. I woke up the 25th of July, 2016. And then the doctor said, remove the pipes, they removed the catheter and everything. And they also never knew that I couldn't walk. I only discovered when they moved me to the general ward. I was there for three weeks. When I wanted to get up to go to the toilet because I wanted to go on wee. When I got off from the bed, then I fell. Then I felt there's no life in my feet. From my knee down, I couldn't feel anything. And the doctor said it's gonna take me about two to three years to recover. My wife actually resigned the work to look after me. I couldn't wash, I couldn't make my own food, I couldn't even write. My hand here, right down, it was numb. I joined in this gym last year and now I'm, I'm fine. Um, I can bend, I couldn't bend, I couldn't wash myself. I couldn't get into the bath, I couldn't get out of the bath. But now all those things I'm doing. My name is Edwina and I give classes at the rec centre, Rivoli Rec Centre for seniors. After he got sick, it was, it was sad to see him because he couldn't move, he couldn't do things for himself. When uh, I learned of his illness, um, he wasn't mobile at all back then and uh, he couldn't even walk or balance on his own. Emotionally, he was broken. He, was, um, he wasn't the same Derek I used to know before. You know, he, was, he, wasn't, he didn't have that confidence. He didn't have that, that zest for life even. You know, he just said, hey Edwina, look at me, look at me, just look at me. What am I gonna do? and uh, he's changed so much over the past year. He's been in the classes now for about six, six to eight months. He's been with us in the class. The very first day when I got there, uh, it was a bit tough, okay? Seeing that it's the first time this thing is now happening. And then she said to me, I must sit on a chair. What, I must do whatever they do, and what I can't do, I must just try and stamp my feet like that. And then it is fine. And then thereafter, the second day I went, then I started looking forward to the gym. And then the next week they took me to the pool. They were jumping in the water. So that was very, very good. Exercising helped me for the fact that uh, it actually strengthened my muscles, especially my feet the muscles and the blood flow. Because remember, there was, no, there was no blood flow. You understand? There was nothing. And with the exercising, it started, it helped with the flow of the blood. And that is ever since I started to the exercising. Well, he's got a strong character and a strong personality. So I wouldn't say he's a fighter. That is why he came and he, he fought back his life. He didn't give up. No, he's not a gift. He won't give up. <laughs> With the exercising, if I never started exercising, I'm sure I would have been a bit worse off. 
high blood pressure, there's cholesterol, there's kidneys, you know, all those things it need it need to you need to exercise. You understand? So exercising it's very, very important, especially when you're like over 40. Where I'm sitting now and where I was that time, it is unbelievable. I'm alarming in Constance in Kuban. I'm, I'm 78 years old. It came to see if on uh, 2015. Maskala it came to see if I could clot my post. Well, the boxing project has been here for four years now. It's very important to keep our grannies more active, you know, because they don't have much activities they do. So it helps them a lot uh, in sense of being active in a healthy life and also avoid sicknesses. I joined the gym when I was in the gym. I mixed in the gym. I healthy food. and exercise. Most of the mabes are being a corner hamba, most of them being a tea, but Patagi, a one. Banim Kutla Niniana, but for me it was not an issue. Moba Kusi, which you know, if Nabapi opportunity by training before end, and even their body starts working on, you know, it becomes active. Must figure it you mean. See, figures change, best standards before we start itching. And then after that, Mrs. Kaluk Jima was Kosho Kosh Betu, was Kumbis Guti Senzinjan, no cook, a bang. martial arts and boxing. You know, it's one of the most important part of exercise. It's, it's more of, you know, you integrate a lot of activities without straining muscles, using your own body system. And at the same time, it contracts and opens up your valves in your, in your, in your muscles. So it doesn't put a lot of stress, you know, and press a lot in between your muscles. So it actually helps you psychologically, physically, and endurance, and you know, it's part of your cardio, it's part of your endurance, and you don't need a lot of things. All you need is a punching club and somebody with an expert teacher to, to help you, to tone up your muscles. I turned on my ears, please. Cinema arthritis, cinema high blood, got a scissor, the healer zone is the first nurse. Uba and Jim, and I besen cook on Lula look, Uban cookile, but in a cat to booty, Nioba, Slangan, and Abane or Are you only as young as you feel? You only as old? as you feel. But with exercise, there's no age restriction, you know. I mean, you can train until. You can see my people is in evidence. They are, these people are from 60 years old to the oldest now is 90 years old. And if I say pick any of them, you can't even say which one is which. And you can see our oldest lady, when she, once she starts punching, you can see that she's very happy. So there is no age limit, there is no excuses. Man, punch us so. Na so, la we are lulega. Young into ya me a luleg in camp we are me a luleg. Man is a so, na so. No man coba, which is so. In Cololam, na lulia luleg. A fan goba man selekaya. 
Sometimes, you know, we are the ones that put them in a cage, you know. We are the ones that put them in a home to say, you know what, there's no life for you. So that is the one that makes them feel like that. But if somebody can say, you know what, I see a gym in, they're looking forward to the gym. What are we going to do, either aerobics or whatever activities? You will see that there is not even that gap in between. You know, tomorrow they push you, tomorrow you push them. So it has nothing to do with your, your age factor. You know, it's something that you can do and something that can be done. And once you start training with them, you realize that they are as much as important as you are. You feel young and you feel when you feel like you feel young and you feel because we are panda and my muscles are I said, it's because in Yako, my pant. I'll say now, I'm a pain gakulu. I'll say now, would you eat it? I try to see young and to learn. I'm a pain. I am moving again and I'm fine. You know, the, 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 the most part in your gym, eh? You treat everyone the same, regardless. But as you train, now you have to know gym. So it's easier because once he feels encouraged, you forget, you know what, this is my first time. So as you go, that's all it takes. Since I got to the gym, I got to go to the gym, I got arthritis <laughs> I need to know the arthritis not is Bamba Pulizim, but it's in a Siawas, the Singo Koku Bamba. Nobody exercise here too. A book of Wogos Luguti, Ungu Koko, Uhambio, Jim, Utoli exercise, Ube mixed in Abanyo Koko, Oba Monsley, Ui one. Uzobane stress, so ibazugulu. Ubene stress asses into zonku kulumi wanganti. Umu mixed in abanyo koko. Siya shega, siya chabula, siya kula.